New York's a really interesting place because it's it's not that different to Europe. There's so many people here from all over the world and all over Europe and they each bring a little bit of their world with them. You get to a point where you can be more English in New York than you can be in England. I noticed that it's it's got its classic cuts back. It's got that whole vintage feel to it. New York itself, sort of architecturally, is fantastic. A lot to do with it was just a change of scene. I've been in London for 17 years. We've got three salons there. You know, there is still that kind of feeling of it's a land of opportunity. If you want it and you're prepared to work hard, it's a great place to be. It's the heritage of it. They've been shirt making for a long, long time and they look good. It's definitely the most frequently changing city that I've ever been in. And I think one thing you have to get used to being here is that things are inherently going to change because that's what New York is. People have different perspectives and people are coming from all, of the, all over the world to be here, you know, to make it at whatever craft they're trying to pull. People, people say that it's become much more gentrified. I think on the outside that's probably true. But I think that all of the characteristics of um, old New York are still here, but maybe you have to look for them a little bit harder. Now. As has happened in many cities, I think that a lot of the artists have been pushed out into some of the outer boroughs. I don't think it's changed. I think it's fundamental character is constant. I think London and New York, the whole dining thing is so different. Here we out pretty much every day. And also a restaurant has so much more than just about uh, food, you know, from service to quality of ingredients. You can't really bullshit in New York. It's like a dinner party, throwing a dinner party in a restaurant. This particular style is, I feel very comfortable in. I think it's, it, it works. I came to New York in uh, 2002. So I just remember that scene coming over BQE and seeing the city at night. And just from that moment, I just I had in my head, like, I want to I live here. Like, I think a lot of people get that sense when they come to New York, it's just uh, an amazing energy.